Oh, General Sherman, in this civil war, it's just the Oregon Ducks and the Oregon State Beavers in Corvallis on a Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Hopefully the, the turkey, we've, we've worked <laughs> through that for a matchup like this. But take me through it here because these are two teams uh, Talent-wise, just there's a disparity here, especially on, on defense when you look at some of the, the issues that Oregon State has had. But I hate to use the sports cliche, Curtis, but you know, throw the record out the window when it's a rivalry game, but you actually buy into that. Well, well, Mike, you can because when you think about it, the last time these two teams met in Corvallis, Oregon State won that football game and nobody gave them a chance then. Same kind of situation. There are weaknesses in Oregon's football team, especially offensively, where you could take advantage of. So if, if they could find those weaknesses and exploit them and keep themselves in the game at home, <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but I didn't think two years ago they would win that one. It's a possibility. Do you think the only way they win this game, if you're, I, this is what I'm thinking, straight shootout. I mean, you got to hope for a high scoring game. You know what? I don't know if they can have a shootout with them because I think their strength, Oregon State, is running the football. Maybe they make the game fast, keep it on the ground. You know, hopefully they, you know, Oregon makes some mistakes so they can get the ball back and run some time off the clock and run the football. Maybe they take that approach. I don't think you want to get into a shootout with them. I, I don't know about I that I just one. felt like Jake Luton was feeling a little bit with Hodgins. Those guys have, have hooked up and they put up some points. But it is a rivalry matchup, and we do know one thing. Jonathan Smith's team has yeah. not quit at all. Yeah. Neither is Coach Crystal Ball's squad, and they came up with a big win as well. Looking forward to this one. Of course, a complete recap at the end of the night. We got everyone covered on Pac-12.